the potential for disaster is quite palpable today. So today I'm going to be creating an art journal page. Now, it's one of those days where I have a kind of fixed idea in my head um, somewhere buried just about behind my eyeballs uh, as to what it is that I want to achieve. However, the sticking point today is that I don't know whether or not my own artistic abilities are good enough to create what I'm seeing in my head. Um, so today is going to be one of those. I'm going to just have a go and see whether I achieve it or whether I just mess up completely. So to start off with, as you can see, I'm working in my um, my eight by 12 journal. Those are the holes for the rings. That's where they go bind back into it. And this is a couple of pages from an old dictionary that I'm going to stick down using the paper matte Mod Podge. Now, this is the one that does dry completely matte and is meant for use with paper. I found that the yellow label one that says matte is meant for home decor and decoupaging projects rather than for paper projects like this. So this is the one that will dry completely matte and this is the one that I want rather than the yellow one. Okay, so I'm going to glue down these two pages so I will speed up the video, the video and then I'll join you again once they're glued down. So I've glued it down, you saw me dry it and then I put a coat of clear gesso over the top. So I have actually smoothed it and then scratched my ring across the paper uh, and that's actually put a mark on it but hopefully that will disappear when I start to actually work on it. Now for this project I'm raking out my old, um, well it's an old, um, underused ink tenth pencil. And I'm going to take out a selection of colours. Let me just move that to one side. So I've got sun yellow, tangerine, I want baked earth, dark brown, I've got willow, and I've got sherbet lemon. Uh, hopefully there's a couple of others in there that I can also use. Mustard and poppy red. So, as you can see, I've got earth tones, warms and yellows there. So this is obviously going to be another um, fall kind of autumnal coloured page. And I've also got Shiraz, which looks almost purple with a hint of red in there and then we've got chili red which is really really red so I think we're going to stick to those I'm not going to put any purples in there I don't want very many greens so I'm going to stick to those colours now these are ink tense pencils which means that these are water reactive aquarellable as they are sometimes called so you put the colour down on the paper 
and then you can activate it with um, with water, like a watercolour. So I'm just going to, I've got a pot full of water here, which I'm just going to keep off camera because it's just going to get in the way otherwise. And I've got some brushes and then I'm going to start putting down my first layer of colours. Now again, as I said before, the potential for disaster here is quite palpable. Um, this is where, if it's going to go wrong, this is exactly where it is going to go wrong. So let's roll camera and let's get started. Okay, so I'm not getting the intensity of colour that I want using these Inktense pencils, which is possibly why I don't use them all that often. So instead, I'm going to switch over to my Neo Colours. Okay, so these are the Neo Colours. And I'm going to grab one of these. I've already wet the brush and I'm just going to activate it now you've probably seen me use this technique before. So now I'm just going to start flicking the colour down onto the page, like so. 
So now I'm going to continue to do that. So I will roll camera again and I'll join with you in a little while.
Now that the bulk and the body of the page are complete and I've got the impression on there that I really wanted, I'm just going to use this um, Pigma Micron pen, which is the number five, just to highlight some of the areas in the drips and the drizzles um, to pick out a bit more detail in my painting. And just to finish off the page, I've printed out a quote from Emily Bronte onto just white normal printer paper and I'm just going to cut it out um, and then I'm going to glue it down to the page just using bog standard school glue, just standard PVA. I'm just going to put some dark highlights or some um, doodling detail around my word blocks. But the pen that I'm using doesn't really write very well on those uh, neo colours, so it's kind of skidding a little bit. So instead, I decided to just grab the black ink tense pencil, which is very much like the Stabilo All Pencil. It works in exactly the same way. And I'm just going to create my black border around my word blocks, just using that black watercolour pencil instead. And that's this page pretty much finished. All I have to do now is to sign and date it. So I've just surprised myself. Um, that's pretty much exactly the way that I pictured it in my head. Um, some slight differences. I was actually going to use um, my fan brush to create some of the leaf kind of patterns with the paint. But as it turned out, the neo colours and the splattering worked perfectly, exactly what I wanted. So I'm very, very happy with the way that this art journal page turned out. So I hope you enjoyed watching the process of it all coming to life. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, 
you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.